Hey everybody, I'm back to it. I had to suspend Volkswagen operations for a little while in the fall. Uh, life came at me, but I'm back to it. Um, in this video, I'm gonna run through with you how I took out one of the driver's side hinge pins. And as you know, these hinge pins on these Volkswagens are tough. And I think you'll get a sense out of this video that really not one tool or even one technique will guarantee success uh, every single time uh, with, these, uh, with these hinge pins. It takes a little bit of creativity and a mix of tools and work. So let's get right to it. What was particularly difficult here with my 57 was um, and I don't know how I missed this until after I painted it, but um, it has threads to the bottom, which I had never seen before. And so I thought this was an aftermarket hack job, but I found some pictures and this is actually um, original to the car. So what Volkswagen had, I'm guessing in the oval era and earlier was threads to the top and the bottom. The threads at the top would have the rear view mirror and then there would be a bolt here to kind of hold this in. Don't know why they needed a bolt because I could not get this pin out. So this needs to come out one because uh, it does have some play in it. And then you can also see um, where the threads that were originally here are now gone. And someone has tried to drill this out. Uh, drilling these out would be, that'd be tough to do. This is hardened steel, it'd be very difficult. And at any rate, they gave up. So um, I tried to take this off with a pin a puller that I got from the Eastwood company and actually broke it. It didn't move it. I tried to drive it out with an impaler and a sledgehammer from the top down, didn't move. Um, I tried to hit it with a pneumatic um, impact uh, from the bottom, didn't move it. And so I uh, did some more research and I found uh, a heck of a tool that is specific to Volkswagen that is manufactured uh, by a garage in the UK. And uh, this is my last chance. I'm hoping this is gonna work. So let me, let me show you um, this, uh, this new tool that I uh, just got today out of the UK. And then we'll see if this will, we'll get this thing out of here. All right, so here I have it here on my workbench. So this is one <laughs> hoss of a pin puller. Um, so you can see um, it's completely um, custom made. And here is the pin that will hit to the bottom and then you tighten it here from the top and you loosen it. It's kind of like a, I guess a fulcrum uh, uh, process to it. It has a handle right here that will go onto the side. So the idea here is Uh, it will go to the top and then, um, whoops, scratch my paint, uh, do the top and then um, I'll have to cut uh, a bit of the uh, threads here at the bottom because I've got this completely pulled back out and then we'll tighten that out and hopefully this will work. Well, uh, this isn't working. So I, I've put so much torque on my new fancy tool that I've actually, maybe you can see it, I've actually started to bend the handle. Um, I've been using some uh, pipe um, along with the uh, uh, ratchet to get some leverage and it's still not moving. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do now is I'm just gonna hit it with, um, a torch 
and just heat the outside. I've just kind of conceded I'm just going to ruin this paint. This should have been done before I painted it, so um, that's on me. But I can clean it up. So I'm just going to heat the hell out of this thing with the idea that I'm going to get a, a little expansion in here. I also hit this with some uh, Kroll, um, put quite a bit of heat on it, and then uh, I'll let that soak for about an hour. So, yeah, let's see. Okay, well, it's not working. I, I, I'm not getting this thing to budge. And at this point, I'm just further damaging this tool. I mean, I don't know whether you can see that, but it's bending this handle even more. I'm putting an incredible uh, amount of torque on this pen and it's not moving. So uh, I'm gonna go to my last resort. I'm gonna drill it out. I'm nervous about doing that because, um, you know, it's gotta be drilled just right because you don't want to drill into the hinge itself because then, you know, you're gonna have to ream this out. It could damage the hinge itself. So here's my replacement pen. And if you can see these serrated edges, edges here, that's what, you know, bores into the hinge metal itself and holds that in. So I'm gonna drill it from the top um, about a quarter of the way down. Uh, three thirty seconds. Um, I've got a pretty decent pilot hole started, and I'm pretty happy with how it's centered. I'm going to clean this out a little bit, and then I'm going to move up to the next size, which is three, 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 which would be seven sixty fourths, and we'll just keep going. This is fun. I'm having a great time. Right. Well, there we are. Um, it's looking pretty decent. Um, I've got a, a, a 3 16 There's a slight angle to it, but I feel like I'm pretty close to down uh, straight center on the pen. Uh, so at this point, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take this out um, with the um, clamp again, um, hoping that I've, I've weakened this um, enough that I uh, can, can get this pushed out to the top. I'm gonna heat it up again. Uh, as well, I'm going to put some heat on it and try the uh, try the clamp. If not, then I'm going to strike it from the uh, top down. Um, as, as I was saying earlier, somebody did tell me they were successful doing that. So let's get the clamp back on it um, and torque the heck out of this and see if it works. That's looking. That's feeling pretty damn nice. Let's keep going. good look at that that is a pin and it's coming out wow what a lot of work it actually worked all right well back on the bench there it is um in all its glory just to give you an idea of how bad a shape this thing is there's the replacement 
Now I had to cut the bottom. Those are those old threads, if you remember from the earlier segment, and I, I did cut the top of that off a little bit. Um, there's my drill, which I thought was spectacular. It's actually pretty poor. I came right through it about a quarter of the way down, went way too far, really. Uh, so I probably nicked the hinge a little bit. But maybe more importantly is look how pitted that is. So almost undoubtedly the hinge itself will need to be reamed. Um, I'll, I'll need to shave metal inside that hinge because um, that's a lot of rust. So it's a little surprising, but that's why this thing was such hell um, to get out. But um, so let's take a look at the hinges now. All right, so I took the door off, have the hinge still sitting here. So I just want to take a standard size um, pin um, and see if this is going to fit in here. And it doesn't want to slide down in there. This should really drop down into here. Um, and then, you know, when you hit uh, this pin, give it some good strikes. The serrated um, portion here that's a little bit wider then embeds into the hinge to keep that pin from spinning. It doesn't really want to go down in there. There was a lot of rust in there. You know, that pin was in really bad shape. And um, I just think that um, this is going to have to be reamed out. I'm going to have to go to a... Um, uh, an oversize one probably will be enough one oversize uh, because this standard won't even go down in here because the innards of that are in such bad shape. Um, you can see that this uh, has problems too. When I slide this in here, that should slide in there, which it does, which is fine. But when I wiggle this back and forth, you can hear it just clunking around in there. So this is, you know, this, this uh, hinge has, uh, has worn itself out pretty, pretty good. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get an oversized reamer, uh, put the door back on, and ream uh, that hinge out and put one, um, one size, one oversize up. Um, and that should do us. So let's do that. Okay, so here is a reamer. Uh, I got this, this at Wolfsburg West. This is how it comes. These aren't cheap. Like any specialty tool, cost me 40 bucks. I'm filming this in February of 2023. And you'll want to get a uh, T handle. Uh, you can get these at Harbor Freight. Set them is 10 bucks. So just get that down in there, tighten that up real nicely, and that gives you a nice handle and correct down pressure, straight down pressure. Don't use, um, you know, vice grips to try to spin this because vice grip is not even and it will wobble. Okay, we've got the second oversized pin here now. So, perfect. That drops down in there and then stops. So now when I strike that, those serrated edges will embed directly into the hinge. So let's go to the door. Let's ream the door hinge portion out and we should be ready to put this back together. I actually think I lied in my earlier video clip. I think I said that I was gonna put the door on there and ream it all all at once but there's no real reason to do that so I'm gonna ream this here I don't know it's so easy I wonder whether I should three sizes up but I don't think there's a three size up that's even available so we'll see this went through awfully easily really easily. Wow. Alright. 
Well, if you remember from the earlier clip when I was jingling that up and down, it was kind of bouncing around in there, which you don't want. You want it snug, but not bouncing. Uh, this did improve this. Um, maybe not perfect, uh, but pretty good. So let's put this door back on. Let's strike the pin back down and we're good, hopefully. All right, for good measure, I thought I'd put the mirror on just to kind of complete and make me feel happy. You have to get a little um, um, adapter, a mirror mount kit. I got this at West Coast Metric, but the post then just screws on top of that. Uh, you put the mirror on top, and then I'm just going to hang tightness down on here for now. Yeah. So there you have it, properly uh, mounted. Replacement pin. I just need to tighten that all back down, but uh, sure glad this is over. I hope this video has helped. Take care. See you.